satellite television is only two weeks away from us now, so this seems like a good moment to sort through the rather confusing claims being made about the technology and look at what equipment is really needed to receive it. Much of the confusion has arisen because, in fact, there are two satellite broadcasters starting up this year, using different types of television signal and with satellites in different parts of the sky. Astra is the first, now safely in orbit, 36,000 kilometres up, from where it will beam signals down to most of Europe. To start with, there will be four channels from Sky Television and later on, two more from WH Smith. Then, following a launch in August, Astra will be joined by the more powerful BSB satellite, covering just the United Kingdom and carrying up to five channels. Now, this has all left the viewer with a number of options, so let's take a look at Astra first. For about £200, you get a package which includes the 65-centimetre dish and a set-top tuner which connects into an ordinary television set. And we've got a dish which is up on the roof, ready to receive the very first pictures from Astra. Just about ready. Now, this dish has got to be extremely well fixed and pointed precisely in the direction of the satellite. So you need a good view south. And if you get somebody else to install it for you, it'll cost you about £60 or so. Well, now, fingers crossed, we should get those first pictures coming in. There we are. And those first pictures are the control room of Astra headquarters in Luxembourg. Now, if, of course, if there's any obstructions like trees or buildings, then you will lose that signal. And if you live north of Manchester, then the signal gets weak there, so you'll have to buy a larger, more expensive dish. And the picture on that television set is the very first to come over the Astra satellite. And in the Astra control room at the moment is Robin Crossley from the company who own and operate the satellite. Now, Robin, I know you've been running test signals for the past few days. How have things been going? The tests have been going very well indeed, Maggie. In fact, um, we've learnt that the satellite is transmitting rather more than we originally anticipated. And we can now confidently predict that, in fact, a 60 centimetre dish, a two foot dish, will suffice all the way up to the Scottish border. And even in Scotland, you'd only need a two foot six or three foot dish at the most. Now, providing people have the right size of dish, can you guarantee they're going to get a good picture? Yes, we're confident. We've done a number of engineering tests ourselves. Uh, the tests we've done on the satellite in the last couple of weeks uh, bear out our feelings. Of course, at the end of the day, the consumer has to try it for himself. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed, Robin. Initially, the Astra channels will be free, but soon some will be on subscription. And that means buying a decoder to unscramble the signal, as well as paying the subscription itself. Right, so what about the BSB system? Well, this costs around £250, but instead of a dish, there's a small antenna, which of course will have to be pointed at the BSB satellite. And this feeds a different set-top tuner, which actually incorporates a subscription decoder. But BSB is taking advantage of new technology and using an improved type of television signal called DMAC, which gives better colour pictures than the PAL system we use now. You will be able to watch BSB on any existing set, but to get the full benefit of an improved picture, you'd need one of these newer types of sets, which has got one of these SCART connectors in the back. Eventually, BSB hoped to offer a new widescreen TV and even high-definition service, which we demonstrated two weeks ago, of course. But BSB's marketing has very much centred on that new square antenna, which they claim will work all over the country. But this so-called square reel is still being developed and has yet to be put fully to the test. Now, because these two systems are incompatible, to get all the satellite channels which will be available by the autumn, you will need both. And it's not yet clear whether current planning regulations would in fact allow both of these antennae on the outside of your house. But there is a third option. Provided you're willing to pay in the region of £1,000, you can get a much more sophisticated tuning system and a steerable dish that can cope with both satellites. Mind you, I suppose most people will probably want to wait and see what programmes are available before they make a decision on which system, if any, they go for. A lot of decisions to make. 